Hi class, this is Jerry Jankowski. I will be demoing how to save a, your file, your InDesign file, as a PDF and your Adobe Illustrator file as a PDF. All right, the first one we have here is a InDesign file. Let's click on it and there it is InDesign. You see it has got a little bit of a bleed here. That's an eighth of an inch, which is standard in the industry eighth of an inch, as you know, in decimals is 0.125. All right, if you go down to the last icon here and do a right click, you will see normal view. All right, let's see it with how it will look like when it's cropped. That's the bleed. So the bleed will cut off an eighth of an inch around the entire uh, printed area. All right, let's go back to normal and let's save this file Adobe PDF presets you can also use export I prefer presets you can use either you feel comfortable with this one tells you right up front before you go any further what do you want you want a high quality print or a press quality print or smallest file size if your file is going to be huge with a lot of photographs in it uh, and you want to send it for a grade, you probably should pick the smallest file size. I'm going to pretend this is going to a printer with crop marks. Okay, so high quality print. Here we go. Um, I'm going to label this like I would send it to, to the instructor, me, uh, in Canvas. So Jerry dash, uh, let's say postcard, and just make an update, February 7, okay? We want it to go to desktop right underneath, you change it to whatever you want. I want desktop. Click save. Already, I've been practicing this, so I do have another one there. So I'm going to replace it on my desktop. All right, first go to the upper, so we have high quality print here. Uh, compatibility, upper right. Let's do the most recent Acrobat, that would be eight or nine. All right, let's go down a bit, pages, all, we only have one. If you were doing a magazine, you probably would click spreads, all right? Now, let's finish up here, marks and bleeds, last thing. Click all printers marks for bleed. Let's use 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch. And just click because this is all connected, all four of these, by this little link chain. Just click any of them and it populates them all. All right, that's it. Export. And it should be up on my desktop here. There it is. Command minus, command minus, command minus. And there it is. You know you did it right if you have a double set of crop marks. This is where it will uh, uh, cut right here and here. So you get an eighth of an inch all cut off. And then you don't have to worry about any little slice of white there. Uh, so that's the, the point of the bleed is. And that's it. That's an InDesign. Now, Illustrator is just a little different. Let's go to an Illustrator. Uh, close current tab. Let's close this tab. All right. And close. This is the InDesign. So let's save. Okay, here's my logo I did for Cerritos. This was a project I did with the class, so I wasn't trying to redo the logo. Let's save this. I'm, I'm done with it. I want to save it and put it in my folder. Always save a copy. A PDF, you, it's very hard to bring it back to Adobe Illustrator or InDesign, so you would save a copy of this. Go to Illustrator. 
save as or save a copy, you would do that. And then you would, uh, to the original, then you would go save as. Okay, what do we want here? Here's the sports logo once again. I'm going to do Jerry dash uh, sports logo or just sports one or the other. And again, making up the date February 7. All right. It's going to go to the desktop. That's where I want it. Let's move this over here. It's going to go to the desktop. Make sure you don't leave this as AI. This is Adobe Illustrator. So let's go to PDF. All right. That's it. Okay. And let's save. Oops. One more. Acrobat 8, most recent. Don't have to do marks and bleeds because we're not going to print. This is just to send in for a great a logo. And there it is. Command minus, command minus for you to see. No, no crop marks, just a really nice, nice color. Always open up all of your PDFs and look at them. Because if you miss one thing, it's not going to come up as you probably would think it would. And I'm well, the way I see it, I'll mark you down if you don't have crop marks and you were supposed to or whatever. Sometimes if you don't collapse all your layers in Adobe Illustrator before you make a PDF, sometimes it does some strange things. It'll uh, leave a layer out or it'll take your bottom layer and put it as a top layer. I have no idea why it does that. A good tip is Adobe Illustrator before you do save it collapse your your layers make sure you save it first though once you collapse layers you can't undo that all right that is it for these demos and I hope that's helped you